Good morning. I'm here to talk about the Art and Design GCSE. Um, here's one of the final pieces that our, one of our students created a few years ago. Um, this course is for students who want to develop their creative ability in 2D and 3D. You don't have to be paid to do this course. There's a range of different skills that we cover, including graphics, ceramics, jewellery, fashion and textiles, drawing, painting, photography and sculpture. Your final piece can be anything. Um, you get to choose the direction of your work. So it could be a lovely drawing like these little dogs, or it could be some sort of fashion thing or sculpture. Thing. It could be photography based and textiles, or it could be um, little mini installations. This one was inspired by a visit to the Baltic Gallery. These squares were inspired by the Rashid Arain exhibition that we, we saw, um, and the student decided to make a chair look like it was sinking into the ground. So she took it to tech. Um, chopped off the legs and displayed it in a mirror. This is a student who experimented with the digital paper cutter um, and some brushes and PVA to make these clear dots, like her artist who did work a bit like this. And this is an artist research board. Where the student was looking at layers and how to make things look decayed. So you really can choose the direction of your work. 60% of your final mark is made up of coursework. Um, this means that you can get teacher help to create some stuff that's really high quality. So you can develop your skills in whatever area you want to do. It's the main part of the course. When you finish that, so once you're halfway through year 11, you're given a choice of starting points. They're usually quite vague, so you can still look at the artists you want to look at and work on topics that you want to work on. You're given six weeks to prepare, and then you're in the art room for two days to do a final piece. So in theory, there's no revision for this. You are working on... Um, skills and techniques that you've practiced that you enjoy. We like to go on loads of trips because it's important that you understand art and the art world um, and the different sorts of galleries and events that, that are inspired or work with artists. We go to the Baltic Art Gallery in Newcastle really often, probably once a half term or once a term, um, but we also do overnight ones to loads of major cities and we are due a New York one at some point. Teaching and learning is done an awful lot similar to what you're maybe used to in Key Stage 3. We start with topics, move on to artists, you do samples, designs, a final piece and evaluate. From the beginning, you choose your topic. So we will teach you a set amount of skills and you will, so if you're looking at, I don't know, let's just say birds, all of your skills would relate to birds. So you would do, you look at birds when you do clay and when you do print and when you do something else, but you would pick that starting point. So we wouldn't be giving you that. There are loads of transferable skills you learn through art, including speaking, listening, problem solving, creativity, staying positive, aiming high, being a good leader and working as a team. These are transferable to many different, not just art ones. You can see here, this is a research board. The students made some stencils. Um, she's screen printed as well as spray painted um, to display this sort of busy feel that she wanted to capture from cities. So it's not, when you say research, it's not really about making PowerPoints online. Hopefully you know the team. There's myself, Miss Milligan, Miss Kirkwood and Mr Murphy, our technician. We've got amazing facilities, including ceramic stuff. We've got a couple of potter's wheels and some kilns. We've got a whole massive range of sewing machines that you'll learn to use. We've got darkroom for developing your own photographs. And we've got digital photography software on the computers that we have in the room. Um, then we've got all drawn and painting facilities and um, easels. We're very, very lucky with our supplies. Here's a lovely ceramic piece where a student managed to experiment a lot with glazes. Um, but this next bit here, I want to talk through some careers that do value art education in, a, in, in its creative sense. So if you wanted to have a job in a creative industry, these are some places that you might choose to work. The most obvious one, if you study art, is that you could be an artist. And this is actually easier than you imagine. They're not advertised artist jobs in the job centre or, um, or online, on, on the regular places. You have to join proper networks that advertise to two artists. So you would find these commissions, these advertisements and these exhibitions in these periodicals and websites and groups that you would join. You exhibit a body of work that you've created that matches in some way. And you would build a reputation for yourself as a ceramic designer or as a textile artist or as a jeweller and sell your work that way. So you'd have like a particular skill that you focus on usually. 
you can work in a gallery. There's tons of jobs in galleries. I've got some um, job titles from from the Baltic Gallery at the end to show you. It's everything from restoring um, historical artworks to working in the education department to being a part of the promotions team. It goes on forever. You can work in the fashion industry. So you could be just a fashion designer where you draw things out on paper. You could be someone that makes the fashion for designers or you could be self-employed fashion designer where you do everything, all of this together. You could design the photographer sets or the, do the makeup for the, for the artists. All these people have got creative backgrounds. It's the same in the film industry. Every sort of prosthetics, a prop, script, storyboard and makeup costume. You could be a producer or editor. Um, all these people have, will have art backgrounds. The music industry is very similar. Um, you'll have seen loads of music videos online probably during lockdown, and um, that show how creative you need to be to work in the music industry. And then you've got media, including games and toy manufacturer, web page editing. All these people will need some kind of visual eye to be able to do their job. We've got loads of students that go on to be games designers. Um, and there's a big company in Edinburgh that employs a lot of people from here, um, with Rockstar Games. The marketing industry is huge, it's only growing. Um, you may recognise these flowers. These are from a contemporary screen printer um, who's managed to sell on to fashion lines and collaboratively with pop stars and many other people. You can be an architect, create stunning buildings like this one, um, but you need everybody to be involved in architecture. People need to be able to draw the designs um, on paper or on CAD. People need to make models and maquettes for the designs. Um, this is what you're doing now in your art lessons, so hopefully... Um, starting to learn a little bit about that. You can be a writer. So if you're really looking at artwork and, and discussing what's going on in it and what it's about, then this is a very valid career. This would link that I'd normally click on would take us to the staffing for this gallery here. This is a gallery in Newcastle. Um, instead of following the link, I just copied and pasted them onto the next three slides. So these are the people that are employed in this one gallery that we go to quite regularly in Newcastle. There are three slides of names here. It's worth pointing out, these are not the artists. These are not the people that make work and put it up in the gallery. These are the people that work in the gallery to make sure the work is displayed right, to make sure that the visitors are happy, to make sure that the gallery runs okay. And most of these people will definitely have an interest in art and have studied some sort of art. So I hope that has helped you understand a little bit more about what the GCSE is. Um, I look forward to seeing some of you at the taster lesson. If you have any questions at all about how we how we run the GCSE or any other careers that you might be interested in, please do email and just ask. Okay, I look forward to seeing you.